This week we saw a video of Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot dancing to music while a man in a self-driving Tesla had to take the wheel to avoid a crash making us wonder if we can ever fully trust AI in critical moments like these Zepto's founder Adit Palicha introduced Zepto Atom an advanced data insight subscription for consumer brands in India In this video we'll uncover everything happening in the world of AI and tech followed by some of the best business use cases and creative outputs users have generated using AI In the end we'll break down why these updates matter and how you as an agency owner or business professional can take maximum advantage of them welcome to the cutting edge school enabled by 01 network by zerodha i am devanshi a real human and not an ai avatar and you are watching the cutting edge news Elon Musk released a video of Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot dancing to music. The video has gained more than 100 million views on X, and while people around the world are very impressed, Elon Musk says that this model is still very far from its original form. Tesla's vice president Milan Kovac revealed that the robot's movements were entirely learned through a simulation and then transferred to real-world performance without additional training. The Optimus Gen 2 is more advanced than the older models, including a slimmer design and enhanced mobility and more dexterous hands. Elon Musk also revealed that both Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and US President Donald Trump were impressed by the Optimus humanoid robot during a demonstration in Riyadh. Tesla plans to open its first car assembly plant in India. Reports suggest that the company is looking for land in Satara, a district in Maharashtra, to build this factory and plans to start development by April 2026. The interesting part is that instead of bringing fully built cars to India, Tesla will import parts and assemble them in this plant. This method will help Tesla avoid high taxes on fully imported cars and assembling cars locally will make them more affordable for Indian buyers. Satara seems like a good choice because it's close to Pune, a city known for manufacturing and automotive industries in India. It also has good roads, rail connections and is near Mumbai's port which will help Tesla bring in parts easily. It has been a significant week for Donald Trump as he concludes his Middle East tour in the UAE who has announced to invest 1.4 trillion dollars in the US over the next 10 years. This investment will be used to grow the tech, AI and the energy sectors. Apart from this, over 200 billion dollars of trade and investment deals were signed in aerospace, energy and infrastructure sectors. UAE also plans to bring in the largest AI campus outside the US and aims to import 500,000 of Nvidia's most advanced AI chips per year. Zepto launches Zepto Atom to provide data insights for consumer brands in India. The Zepto brand portal already gives brand daily insights on how they are performing on Zepto, but Zepto Atom will provide insights like PIN code wise market share and brand performance. Brand gets a live map showing the sales insight of each PIN code on Zepto. For example, a brand might notice they are underperforming in Western Hyderabad. They can then focus on pricing, marketing or distribution in that area to drive growth. Live metrics refreshed every minute. Zepto Atom shows minute by minute sales, customer impressions and conversion data. Brands use this data to optimize advertising and product range throughout the day and week based on real time consumer behavior. Zepto Atom has an in-house NLP assistant trained on Zepto's own data and can answer questions like how can I grow my market share in Delhi for yoga mats or what drives protein bar sales among millennials in Mumbai. Zepto GPT analyzes the data data and gives actionable insights strategy tips and even creates reports advanced behavioral data beyond sales and conversions zepto atom tracks customer repeat rates retention share of voice in search and home page a full funnel purchase behavior that brands can use to understand customers better Google updated their logo for the first time in 10 years. The new logo was rolled out on Sunday as part of an update to the Google iOS app. There hasn't been a massive change design-wise. The main change was to change the classic color block style into a smoother, seamless transition between colors. According to Google, this redesign is a part of a bigger visual update to bring all their AI-powered tools under one cohesive brand. This logo also ties into Gemini, Google's AI assistant, which uses a similar gradient-heavy style. 
Earlier this year, Google dropped Gemini 2.5 Pro and people have been building amazing products like converting a drawing into an interactive app, creating code animations from images of nature, a smart dictation app that works with lightning speed and makes accurate notes, an exact and fully functional replica of an existing website. Isn't it amazing what you can do with an idea and a prompt? Google launched a prompt guide to help you get better results. It says that each prompt has four parts. Number one, identify a persona. So Gemini knows what you are and what to act like. For example, I'm a content marketer for a travel company. Number two, define a task to clearly define what to generate. For example, generate five ideas for blog content that feel relevant and will appeal to frequent travelers and the tourism industry. Number three, set context so it can generate better results. For example, choose unique and fresh topics, tap into current trends or recent challenges and or innovations with the tourism industry when brainstorming. And number four, add a format. For example, share back the ideas in a bulleted list with a CTA at the end. The best way to write a good prompt is to keep it simple and clear. Use natural language as if you're talking to a teammate and break down complex tasks into smaller steps. Researchers in China AI developed an AI model that can evolve on its own. The model is called the Absolute Zero Reasoner or AZR and it learns completely on its own without a single bit of human provided data. It creates its own problems, solves them and learns from the results. This method is called self-play, a kind of training where the AI keeps challenging itself to get better. It uses reasoning techniques like a human would and improves through trial and error by running code and testing its own answers. The crazy part is AZR performs better than supervised models on coding and math benchmarks without ever learning from the real-world examples. This could be the start of a big shift in how we think about AI development. Airbnb ditches flat icons and reintroduces skeuomorphism in its icon. Airbnb CEO Brian Chesky announced two new features. Airbnb services to book local professionals like chefs, photographers, massage therapists and more. This feature is currently live in 260 cities. He also announced Airbnb experiences to discover and book local events, dining, tours, workshops and activities. But the thing that really captured everybody's attention was the visual redesign. The interface introduces Lava, a new media format where icons aren't just animated, they are live, looping video elements that blends into the UI making the app feel dynamic. Designers are already recreating the look with ChatGPT prompts animated in 3D with Kling and building motion prototypes in Framer. In fact, there have been so many creative use cases of AI this week, including making product ads that brands can use for marketing. This can be done on multiple AI tools like ChatGPT or Midjourney. You can add an image of the product and describe the image background and setting in the prompt. Creating AI-generated videos in the same style as America's funniest AI home videos. Or using a combination of Midjourney and Kling to create a video of a city that has the sky of a starry night painting by Van Gogh or even an elephant, giraffe, a horse or even a tortoise. We also came across an AI tool that can remove the AI sheen from pictures. It's called Enhanker.ai and it makes an AI-generated image look real. For all the agency owners, freelancers and the design professionals who are scared of AI taking their jobs, know that AI will not replace you, but a person who uses AI might replace you. You need to spend at least one hour every day learning and experimenting with AI tools. Start sharing your learnings on social media. This will teach you to write better and help you network with people in your wavelength. Let me know in the comment section if you found this video useful and if there are any other topics you would like us to cover or analyze. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload the next video. We hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. My name is Devyanshi and you are watching the Cutting Edge News enabled by 01 Network by Zerodha. If you want to learn more about AI and prompting, here's a playlist that will teach it to you from the scratch.